Hey everyone, mark your calendars for September 5th, 2027, because that's when Voyager 1 will hit its 50th birthday in space. Imagine it's been zooming out there for half a century. But before we continue delving into the incredible story of Voyager 1, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and turn on notifications so you'll never miss out on our cosmic adventures. Because here at Spaceverse, we embark on a cosmic odyssey, venturing into the depths of the universe to unravel its mysteries and marvels. So prepare for an exhilarating voyage through the cosmos as we explore the wonders of our solar system and beyond. From its breathtaking encounters with Jupiter's swirling storms to its mesmerizing views of Saturn's majestic rings, Voyager 1 has captured the imagination of millions. At this very moment, Voyager 1, humanity's intrepid explorer, hurtles through the vast expanse of space at a breathtaking speed of approximately 38,000 miles per hour. As it continues its cosmic journey hurtling through the void, it will gradually venture further and further from our sun, reaching a staggering distance of about 176 astronomical units by the appointed day. To put this into perspective, that distance equates to roughly 24 light hours away from our celestial furnace. Yet, amidst the awe-inspiring velocity at which Voyager 1 traverses the cosmos, there exists an even more mind-boggling reality. Despite its remarkable pace, it remains a mere speck in the face of the immense scale of the universe. Even at its breakneck speed, it will require an astounding 300 years to breach the distant reaches of the enigmatic Oort Cloud, a sphere of icy debris surrounding our solar system. Voyager 1 and its buddy Voyager 2 were like space detectives sent on a mission to explore distant planets in our solar system. Their first big assignments? Checking out Jupiter and Saturn. Imagine it, back in the late 1970s and early 1980s, Voyager 1 was like an interstellar tourist, getting as close as it could to these gas giants. As it zoomed by Jupiter, Voyager 1 acted like a space photographer capturing some jaw-dropping shots of swirling clouds and massive storms. But the star of the show was definitely Jupiter's biggest storm, the Great Fred Spot. This thing makes hurricanes on Earth look like small breezes. Voyager 1 also turned its camera towards Jupiter's moons. Each one seemed like a little world of its own. Take Europa, for example. It's covered in ice and might even have a hidden ocean underneath. Then there's Io, a fiery moon with volcanoes erupting all the time. Voyager 1 showed us that our solar system is like a cosmic playground, with each planet and moon having its own unique story to tell. It found out that Io, one of Jupiter's moons, is basically a hotbed of volcanic activity. Picture erupting volcanoes and rivers of lava. Fast forward to a year later, and Voyager 1 finally made its way to Saturn. What a sight to behold. The spacecraft's cameras captured breathtaking images showcasing the mesmerizing intricacies of Saturn's iconic rings. Imagine countless ringlets and gaps scattered throughout, with one particularly mysterious ring, known as the F-Ring, coming into view for the first time. But Voyager 1 didn't stop there. Just like it did with Jupiter's moons, it provided us with detailed glimpses of Saturn's own moons. However, it was one moon in particular that stole the show. Titan, Saturn's largest moon with its thick, orange-hued atmosphere. This dense atmosphere hinted at a world brimming with complexity, rich in nitrogen and hydrocarbons, suggesting the presence of intriguing organic molecules. Voyager 1's discoveries at Saturn opened up a whole new realm of possibilities and sparked the imaginations of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Now let's zoom to 1990. Voyager 1 entered a new phase of its mission, called the Voyager Interstellar Mission. Its mission? To push past the edge of our sin's territory, called the heliosphere, and dive into the space between stars. That's where it snapped that famous bick of Earth, looking like a tiny blue dot in the vastness of space. Then, in 1998, Voyager 1 made history again. It zipped past Pioneer 10, becoming the farthest human-made object from the sun, just to give you an idea, it was about 6.4 billion miles away from the sun when it hit this milestone. That's some serious distance. Around 15 years later, on August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 crossed this boundary called the Heliopause and ventured into what we call interstellar space. This was a big deal because it gave us our first direct measurements of stuff like cosmic rays and magnetic fields out there, giving us a peek into what space is like between stars. Now, how does Voyager 1 keep chatting with us from so far away? It's all thanks to its fancy high-gain antenna, which is like a giant dish about 3.7 meters wide. This antenna focuses radio waves super well, so Voyager can send and receive messages across the huge distances of space. 
It talks to Earth through something called the Deep Space Network, which is like a team of giant radio dishes spread out in places like California, Spain, and Australia. These dishes are set up around the world, so no matter where Earth is spinning, at least one of them can always chat with Voyager. But here's the thing, even though these signals travel at the speed of light, it still takes them about 20 hours to reach us. Why? Well, Voyager uses these high-gain antennas to shoot a tight beam of radio waves straight at Earth, and since radio waves move at the speed of light, it's as fast as it gets. Now Voyager 1's power comes from something called radioisotope thermoelectric generators. Basically, they turn the heat from decaying plutonium to 138 into electricity, keeping Voyager's gadgets running smoothly. But here's the catch. These generators lose about 4 watts of power every year, and by 2025, Voyager might not have enough juice left to power its instruments. Sad, right? After that, even though Voyager will keep drifting through space, we won't hear anything new from it. Voyager 1 has this incredible thing called the Golden Record on board. It's like a time capsule filled with greetings in 55 languages, music from different cultures, sounds of Earth, and images showing life and humanity's diversity. It's meant for any aliens or future humans who might come across it. Now let's talk about Voyager 1's journey. Realistically, it's more likely to wear down over time from things like space debris and radiation rather than being pulled off course by a planet or star. So it might keep its shape for hundreds of millions to a few billion years as long as it doesn't hit anything big. By that time, it would have traveled around a quintillion miles, which is only a tiny fraction of the Milky Way size. But along the way, it could pass by constellations like Hercules, Lyra, Cygnus, Draco, and Camelopardalis, each with thousands to tens of thousands of stars. Over billions of years, Voyager's path will be influenced by lots of things, like passing stars in the Milky Way's gravity. As the galaxy moves, these influences might change Voyager's course in subtle ways, making its journey through space even more fascinating. As time stretches on, the stars will shift positions, and the constellations we recognize today might change or vanish altogether. New stars will form and old ones will fade away, reshaping the galaxy's appearance in the distant future. With all these unknowns, predicting Voyager 1's exact path becomes more about likelihoods than certainties. Its encounters with interstellar stuff like dust and gas will affect where it goes and how it holds up over time. Plus, Voyager might pass through different parts of the galaxy, from sparse areas to denser regions near the center, each with its own gravitational quirks. Yet, Voyager 1's journey embodies our drive to explore and understand the universe. It's a symbol of human curiosity as it ventures into the unknown, pushing the boundaries of our scientific knowledge. And that's all for today's cosmic adventure on Spaceverse. We hope you enjoyed diving into the mysteries of Voyager 1 and the vastness of our universe. Remember to subscribe to Spaceverse for more captivating explorations of the cosmos, and don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts on today's episode. Until next time, keep dreaming big and reaching for the stars. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious.